So a seizure is a big burst of electricity in the brain all at once. It can come from one area of the brain, one little spot, or it can be the whole brain lighting up all at one time. We like to think of it, imagine a man standing in the forest with a box of matches. Every time he lights a match, that's the short circuit that we see on the EEG on the brainwave test. Now most of the time he drops the match to the ground, it blows out, nothing happens. But every once in a while that match, he lights off enough matches, it hits the ground, starts a fire, the fire spreads, that's your seizure. Right, so there's a difference between abnormalities on the EEG and the clinical seizures. But then epilepsy starts when you've had a bunch of unprovoked seizures. And, and the definitions vary. It can be more than two unprovoked seizures, it can be more than three. You also have to take into account the time between the seizures and what the abnormalities are on the EEG. So everybody has a little different definition, but typically epilepsy is unprovoked seizures, more than two or three, with an abnormal EEG. Now the man with the box of matches can be caused by many different things. So the short circuit in the brain can be from the brain didn't develop properly. There's a scar from a stroke from either childhood or at any point a stroke or damage. Um, or just the brain um, for no reason the MRI could be perfectly normal and have some kind of deep unknown reason for causing that short circuit with the guy with the box of matches, correct? And those things are at a, such a microscopic level that we may not even see it until if the person ends up having epilepsy surgery until the pathology comes back and shows that there's an abnormality. So even when you go in there and you're looking at the brain and the neurosurgeon has lifted off the skull, there may not be anything visible to the naked eye, but when you send pathology off to the lab, you'll see some abnormality. But there are people who have seizures who have perfectly normal EEGs. Right, and they can still have seizures because those seizures may come from so deep in the brain that you're not seeing it on the, on the EEG. Because again, the EEG is showing electricity from deep in the brain, but it has to shoot it out through the skull. So you're not seeing abnormalities at the skull because they rise from so deep in the brain. So basically, uh, epilepsy are people who've had more than one seizure. Um, they might or might not have an abnormal EEG. Um, we know it's a short circuit in the brain, but we have to look for it. Um, and again, they're provoked or unprovoked, but you're not going to say a child who has febrile seizures, who has a seizure every time they have a temper of 104 or 105, they have a seizure. That's not epilepsy. That's a different problem. Nor is the child who stays up all night in college and pulls an all-nighter and then seizes either because they've been drinking alcohol or they're using drugs or they just stayed up all night doing work. That's not epilepsy either. That's a seizure.